Vermont is aging and fast. We've told you about the graying of the Green Mountains and the problems that come with a shifting demographic. Vermont is the third oldest state, only behind Maine and New Hampshire. The number of Vermonters 65 and older has nearly doubled over the last two decades. Colin Flanders at Seven Days walk us through why that's concerning. Yeah, it's concerning for many reasons, Darren. I think we can start with an obvious one, which is the workforce. Uh, the baby boom generation is Vermont's largest cohort of uh, people. If you look at our demographic pyramid, that one stands out the most. Um, as they age out of the workforce, it's going to be a challenge to backfill those positions, and that's because we have smaller, younger generations. Um, there's also going to be increased demand on our health care system. As people get older, obviously, they need more health care, and our system right now is already overburdened. Uh, there is also going to be really uh, deeply personal conversations with a lot of Vermonters. A lot of people live in rural areas and housing stock that's not really well equipped for aging. Uh, they also live in places where transportation is an issue, so isolation is a big risk. Um, all of these things are things we're going to be thinking about in the years to come. And a problem for our schools as well. That's right, yeah. We've seen our school enrollment drop by nearly uh, 30,000 over the last 30 years, and it's really leading to these tough conversations that we're seeing now. I mean, dozens of school budgets just got voted down. I think it's going to accelerate the conversation that's been going on for a long time. Does Vermont have too many small schools? Uh, how did we get here? This is really a story about birth rates. Uh, Vermont's birth rate is the lowest in the country, and it has been trending in the wrong direction when it comes to population growth. Uh, in 2015, for the first time in modern history, we saw more people die than born in Vermont. Uh, that gulf has only widened in the in the recent years. Um, and as that happens, that's a natural decline in population. So Vermont is projected to actually shrink in the coming decades if we can't offset that with people moving into the state. Well, well, let's talk about that. The state's demographic problem makes its way into political speeches and often, but what is being done about it? Yeah, that's right. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking about this in two ways. One, uh, arresting these trends that we're seeing. And we hear from Governor Scott about this all the time, trying to make Vermont more affordable, a place that families want to move. Uh, it's interesting because one of the things that uh, a lot of families will say uh, would encourage them to maybe consider settling somewhere is child care, which is costly. Um, so right now we're thinking about how can we bring more people into the state, especially young people who can enter the workforce, support seniors financially, also physically elder care is a place where there's a lot of job openings right now but also we're trying to adapt to our new realities and there's a lot of conversation going on in the state right now but how do we make Vermont a more age-friendly place there was just a, a big study or a big plan put out last month about this about trying to uh, encourage walkable livable communities and also make sure that seniors are financially stable uh, so it's kind of a two-pronged approach uh, what about climate migrants or COVID? Didn't people worried about the virus, worried about the impacts of climate change come here seeking safety? Yeah, that's one of the reasons why Vermont actually might be well poised to attract more people. Like you said, remote work during the pandemic and just the fear of COVID drove a lot of people from big cities into uh, small town life. And then climate migration, while last summer's floods did put a bit of a dent into Vermont's image as a climate haven, uh, it's still more attractive than a lot of places. Uh, the big issue, though, of course, as we know, is housing. Where are people going to live? So the state's scrambling to build more housing to uh, accommodate a big influx of population, but it's kind of it's, it's interesting to see if we'll be able to do that in time to get enough people here. Uh, it's a bit of a race. Your story's out in seven days. Colin Flanders, thank you. Be well. Thanks, you too.